What's up YouTube? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be talking about how to pancake the volleyball. And this video was suggested by Ice Jager. So thank you so much for this video suggestion. For those of you who don't know what a pancake is, a pancake is an American breakfast food that is shaped like a circle. So when you pancake the volleyball as a form of digging or passing the volleyball, it's when you dive and you fully extend your arm you make your hand as big as possible in the shape of a pancake in hopes that you will save the ball by sliding your hand under the ball before it hits the ground and then the ball is dug. Before you continue watching this video, make sure that you watch my how to dive video because you cannot effectively and safely pancake the volleyball without knowing how to dive properly and you can watch that video by clicking on the link up here. Assuming that you know how to dive properly, now we'll talk about how to pancake the volleyball. First, let's start by performing the pancake motion without the volleyball. There are three ways that I recommend approaching the pancake. The first way is running toward the ball and trying to pass it first with your platform with two arms. And then at the last second, you realize that you cannot reach with two arms. And then you split your platform and then you extend all the way to your platform. This allows you to still have the option to pass the ball which is more controlled than the pancake in case you misjudge it and you're closer to the ball than you think. You can try out the pancake motion by doing it slowly first by only taking one step, lowering your body to the floor and then pushing off forward while performing the pancake motion and then sliding forward. Step, drop, pass, pancake, slide. Step. Pancake slide. The second way of pancaking is you're very certain that you cannot pass the ball with two arms. You sprint as fast as you can to the ball and immediately reach for the ball in a pancake motion. That allows you to go just a little bit further when you're fully committed to the pancake. Step, drop, pancake, slide. Step, drop, pancake, slide. third way is pancaking and then rolling on your side. This technique is good for people who have a sensitive chest area. It also allows you to pop right up after you pancake the ball. The only disadvantage is that because you're rolling as soon as you're pancaking, meaning your hand is not going to be in the pancake formation for as long as possible, you will have a smaller window to dig the ball. Once you feel comfortable with doing that with one step, then you want to add multiple steps to pick up the speed and make it more game speed. Once you feel comfortable doing that without the ball, then you want to toss the ball to yourself or have somebody toss the ball low to you so you can time your pancake with the volleyball. Remember that pancaking the volleyball should not be an excuse for you not to pursue the ball with two hands first. Do not resort to the pancake technique unless you absolutely have to and there's no way you can reach the ball and dig it. There's a reason why you don't see this technique used very often and it's only in very specific situations because most great defenders and passers 
will always try to dive for the ball and pass with two arms first before trying to dig the ball with one hand. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your volleyball friends and teammates who would like to learn how to pancake the volleyball. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I'll be releasing weekly tutorial videos just like this one. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.